friends, this is the second vlog of me and Max. If you haven't watched the first vlog, check out the link in the description box. This video is about how to take care of a zebra finch. So let's get started. The first topic is diet. The zebra finch's diet consists of a seed mixture for small birds. They should be made up of different kinds of millets and other seeds. Zebra finches like many greens such as coriander leaves, mint leaves, etc. Millet sprays are also appreciated. Occasionally, you can also give them fruits like banana, papaya, grapes or any other fruits. Make sure the fruits are softly mashed. It is important that zebra finches always have access to food. Remember if they are too fat, they need more exercise, not less food. Zebra finches should always have access to fresh water. In general, all birds should always have access to some formal calcium, be it cutlery bone or calcium cake. Housing Zebra finches can be kept indoors or outdoors. Since they are very hardy, they can tolerate different environments. But you should avoid placing them where it may rain on them. Generally, zebra finches feel fine in 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. Always keep the cage neat and clean. As zebra finches can be a bit messy, clean the cage twice a week or more if needed. Grooming Finches generally require less maintenance. However, you need to provide them regular access to water. Offer your finch a bird bath twice a week. As soon as the bird has completed grooming, move the dish. Contact your vet if a finch stops grooming itself. Lastly, healthcare. Generally, finches suffer from some common health problems like calcium deficiency, diarrhea, overgrown beak and claws. Visit a vet if such problems occur. Generally, if you cater to all these needs, any bird will be happy and content in its surroundings. Make sure you spend some time with it, the bird regularly and try to bond with it. Your involvement will make the bird anxious and enthusiastic. Always try to amuse your bird with colorful new bird toys once in a while. Play music and see your bird getting excited. Make sure you help your bird exercise well by climbing on the cage, jumping on perches, Lying around the house in your supervision. Keep the bird away from sharp and hot objects. A pet in the house always generates positive energy. At the end, all I want to say is a happy bird means a happy you. That's it for today. I hope the video has been informative. Please do like, share and subscribe to Me and Max. For further more detailed videos, do click on the bell icon for notifications. Bye. See you later in our next vlog.